Hola Houston, my name is Andrea Nava and this is your weekly team report. The Houston Dynamo FC are wrapping up their preseason and are looking forward to their first game of the season against FC Cincinnati. We caught up with head coach Ben Olsen and a few of our players to get in on the action. We have a pretty good understanding over the last two weeks of who we are, and um, uh, but today was nice that the offensive side started to click. This was a big step for this group, you know, to, to win a game, you know, have the first time where we really kind of put uh, uh, the defensive part uh, and the offensive side of the ball. Uh, I, I thought it was it was pretty good. La verdad que que muy bien, no. Más allá de entendernos bien en dentro de la cancha, creo que fuera de la cancha también tenemos una buena relación. Se está armando buen grupo, no. En general, no, no solo entre entre nosotros tres. Dynamo wraps up their preseason here in Houston after traveling to Mexico and Florida playing against international clubs such as American Pumas from Liga MX to Columbus and CF Montreal. These matches provided a variety of competition necessary for the squad to build our new style of play. Houston closed out the preseason with a 2-0 victory against FC Dallas at home with goals from Corey Baird and Adalberto Carrasquillo. I think it's a great way to end preseason. Uh, you always want to win games and winning a game here at home is uh, the way we want to start the year. We want to start the year with some wins. So coming out here, pretty complete performance, clean sheet and two goals, we're, we're happy. Dallas is a good team that plays well. The year they finished the season, they entered in the playoffs. And it's a very important parameter for us to see where we are parados and where we want to go and where we want to go. As the number one city in the nation for diversity, our new Houston squad for the upcoming season highlights just that. Players such as Ivan Franco from Paraguay, Amin Bossi from France, as well as a couple of decorated MLS champions like Brazilian midfielder Artur and Argentine defender Franco Escobar. Additionally, after impressing the club as a preseason trialist, defender Tate Schmidt from Real Salt Lake was acquired to add depth to our backline. Alongside these new additions, defender Brad Smith continues his recovery and is making progress to return to the pitch. Our returning players, defender Tine Chedevi, goalkeeper Steve Clark, midfielder Adalberto Carrasquilla, and forward Sebastián Ferreira. Led by captain Héctor Herrera, are ready to hold it down for H-Town this season. This new combination of players are locked in to contribute to the team goal of a playoff run in 2023. New year, new look for our men in orange. Houston Dynamo FC released their new kit for the 2023 season. Nicknamed El Sol, this new kit represents guidance and energy towards a brighter future. You can purchase El Sol online via the MLS store or in person at our official team shops located in Shell Energy Stadium or the George R. Brown Convention Center. Houston travels this weekend to open the 2023 MLS season against FC Cincinnati. Over a year has passed since the Dynamo last faced Cincinnati, resulting in a 1-1 draw. The Eastern Conference favorites have most of their playoff squad returning, proving to be a significant challenge for the Dynamo early into the season. Next week's a different ballgame. Uh, going away to Cincinnati is a, is a different task. This season opener will be one of Houston's two matches in MLS play before opening up their home campaign against Dobson FC on March 18th at Shell Energy Stadium. Houston Dynamo FC are ready to open up the season against FC Cincinnati Saturday, February 25th at 6.30 p.m. Make sure you catch all the action only on Apple TV. My name's Andre Nava, and this has been your weekly report.